You can say that the listener is vulnerable to what I want to communicate. Music can be insurgent. I can bypass your brain, go straight into your heart. I got discovered doing something really well, and that's not to say I was perfect at it, but I was working really hard at it. And this is where the nerdy part comes in. I spend a lot of time on what we call long tones. Every single successful person is a nerd to some degree. Early on, when I first started playing, I got a chance to hang out with a guy named Arnett Cobb. When I heard him play, I received something important, something of meaning. When I played for him, I just played my best licks, you know, the stuff that I thought was really impressive. He stopped me and he said, okay, Brian, you are playing a lot of notes, but you ain't saying a damn thing. Okay, that hurt. <laughs> <laughs> but it was the best thing that could have happened because it made me dig deeper. The voice of your instrument is meant to communicate what's deep inside of you. I'm playing what matters to me. One big low point now has become maybe the high point of my career. It just came into my head, man, I want to make a country record. Jazz, R&B, saxophonist making a country record. Makes sense to me. Well, yeah. Apparently it didn't make sense to the label that I was on at the time. They were like, what is this? And they dropped me unceremoniously from the label. I thought, hmm, my life is over. And I was preparing for my pity party. So my wife says, what can you do today that you couldn't do yesterday? I went, oh wow. Right away, I knew exactly what I wanted to do gospel according to jazz. I just did it because I knew this is something I wanted to do. It became the thing that garnered me a Grammy Award. Fast forward, I'm going back to South Africa again to perform and somebody says to me, hey listen, why don't you ever play anything from In This Life? I'm like, did somebody just mention that album that got me dropped? Sure enough, a few people asked me, please play something from this record. And they started naming songs. There's a slow moon rising. People just went berserk. They were singing the whole song. And that's really, really special. And it's worth everything you have to go through to get to that point. It's really about the audacity to just be yourself. Just be you.